Are you currently taking statins? Are you wondering if there are natural solutions without the risks associated with big pharma statins? Things like muscle cramps, memory loss, hair loss, even liver damage. Muscle, muscle pain is experienced by approximately 2-10% to 10 of patients taking statin drugs. Statin-induced myalgia is generally experienced as soreness, usually in the shoulders and arms or the hips and thighs. It's often accompanied by a mild weakness. Myositis is muscle inflammation. It occurs um, in about 1 in 200. Uh, myalgias and elevations in CK levels, uh, they're simply um, muscle enzymes going back into the blood. Now one of the more serious complaints, um, rhabdomyolysis, it's severe injury, uh, um, muscle injury, essentially a muscle breakdown of tissue resulting in large release of muscle protein into the bloodstream, which can produce severe kidney damage and even death. Fortunately it's very rare, with roughly one case occurring in every 10 million statin prescriptions. So it's not to, it's not to, you know, to put you into distress or anything. But muscle problems, if they're going to occur, begin within a few weeks to a few months after starting statin therapy. Unless it's severe enough to cause death, it will be resolved after you stop taking statins. Uh, red yeast rice, uh, red yeast rice benefits. Um, numerous providers of uh, red yeast rice have formulated their items. And they're trying to make sure they stay within the FDA mandate. Now, red yeast rice decreases cardiac death. It has been discovered that in people who are already um, have a history of cardiac arrest, red yeast rice decreases cardiac death by up to um, 45%. And this is compared to placebo groups as well. Now, some studies have shown that red yeast rice is more efficient than pharmaceutical statins and lowers cholesterol by a greater quantity with less illness and we are talking LDL cholesterol um, like all natural remedies that are taken for severe conditions you need to get in touch with your physician or doctor because they do have um, a big say in what you take now red yeast rice is a fungus that grows on rice okay um, and it's got modest quantities of a naturally uh, occurring form of lovastatin, also typical in um, doctor-prescribed statins. The red yeast rice is a conventional Chinese medicine which is understood to have cholesterol-reducing properties. It is extracted from the rice, which has been fermented, with a kind of yeast called monosascus uh, Pupirus, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's utilized not just as a medication, however, um, it's a preservative, coloring, lots of things. Now, yed, uh, red yeast rice is encouraged to be made use of to minimize cholesterol and triglycerides. In fact, the UCLA School of Medicine carried out a study on the results of red yeast rice on approximately 83 people with high cholesterol. Now, all the people were offered 4 grams of red yeast rice and um, or a placebo once a day. They were kept on 30% fat diet plan um, and having no more than 10% hydrogenated fat and an optimum 300 milligrams of cholesterol every day. The people were checked in for a 12-week period, roughly 3 months. At the end of this time, there was a considerable dip in the overall cholesterol levels and again we were we are talking about the LDL and not the HDL so obviously um, medical historians um, know that Chinese have been using Reggie's rice for food and medicine from about 4000 sorry 400 AD now red yeast rice includes a substance referred to as lovastatin the same active ingredient in Mevacor, which is obviously a statin drug, and it prevents the action of the enzyme HMG-CoA, which in return um, reduces 
the body's cholesterol levels and decreases the threat of cardiovascular disease without the adverse effects. Now, cholesterol uh, decreasing properties of red yeast rice originated from the naturally occurring, um, occurring elements called monocolins in it. In specific, uh, mo monocolin K appears like the statin lovastatin, which is the vital element of the cholesterol reducing drug Mevacor. For those who have actually been recommended to lower their cholesterol levels and are worried about the adverse effects of statins, um, like liver disorder, muscle atrophy, um, red yeast rice is a natural option. If you look at the active ingredients in many different supplements that you're offered, you discover that red yeast rice has a massive importance. Many individuals concur it is much better to take a supplement than try and cook um, with the rice. Studies have shown that taking just 4 grams of red yeast rice per day reduced LDL or bad cholesterol levels by 22% and overall cholesterol by 16% in 12 weeks. Another research revealed that taking just 2 grams of our RYR, red yeast rice, lowered LDL levels by 26% in simply 8 weeks. In China and other Asian countries, the day-to-day -day intake of red yeast rice is much more because it's commonly utilised as an ingredient. Um, in lots of um, in lots of cooking dishes such as even peking duck so with all the benefits of red yeast rice um, our all-in-one heart health former formula could be worth a try uh, don't take my word for it though here's what the media have to say you can see there that uh, we've got the daily mail saga natural health news so i think there's conclusive uh, conclusive reports there that this is uh, this is a great product so really the next move is yours just simply go to vascularnatural.co.uk if you do it now while it's fresh in your memory um, have a look see what you can uh, find out get back to me if you need more info um, many thanks and speak soon